Good morning. About to get on a radio interview with my new book, Conversations with the Universe. But I wanted to share with you um, just a special hello, uh, sending some sweet love, and sharing with you how my morning has started. I want you to know that the impetus, probably, for starting the Rebel Road Tour was a part of me that, for such a long time, has been behind the scenes, has been um, working from behind the computer, behind the telephone, connecting with people, but not really connecting in a very safe way, kind of in a distant way, getting, um, using Facebook to, to reach out and and touch people and connect with people. But I, or something in my spirit, really wanted to go beyond that. I think that technology is amazing. I think it's fabulous how we can now reach far and wide and, you know, meet friends and connect with people in so many different ways. And what that sparked within me was a desire to connect even deeper. I think with so many experiences that my own life held, uh, I was trying to survive for a very long time. And it was all that I could do to just keep my life in order. So I didn't really make friendships. I didn't really connect with people beyond a surface level. I didn't uh, engage socially very much because I was just trying to keep um, my home life, my, my career life all just intact with everything else that was going on around me and managing that. And what I came to realize last year as I was going through my divorce and just really sitting with myself and, and looking at what I was longing for, I realized that my true longing has been to connect with people heart to heart, soul to soul, to meet people, to see the divine in everyone and everything. And that's starting to happen now with this Rebel Road Tour. I'm making contact with so many different people by phone. I'm now meeting people in person. They're showing up in Charleston or they're going to be along the way. And it really is a beautiful feeling because I think we have started to hide behind our electronics and we're losing something that as a human being we inherently desire. We want to connect with people. We want to be able to embrace them. We want to be able to look into their eyes, to, to literally be across from them and, and feel their presence. And so I got the opportunity to do that yesterday and I got the opportunity again this morning. Uh, several months ago, a gentleman reached out to me uh, he was a musician, a songwriter, and he wanted to support me in any way that he could in regard to the Rebel Road, knowing that singing and songwriting was part of it. And on his own, he wrote the most beautiful song for Conversations with the Universe uh, based on the words that I write, based on the words that I, uh, the sentiments that I share in that book. He wrote a really lovely song, and I can't wait to sing it. I can't wait to get it recorded and share it with you because he hit the essence of it and so thank you Nikki for you know stepping up and sharing this experience with me and we got to meet today for the first time and have breakfast together and it was just so nice sharing space so nice um, being able to look into another's eyes who had touched something that was my soul and placed it in their own heart and was able to create and be inspired and produce something now that I believe will touch many people in many different ways. And so I just want you to really look at your life and see what it is you're longing for, see how it is you can connect with other people and be willing to do that. Be willing to make meaning in your life with the types of people and the kinds of experiences that will really feed you and nourish you. It is why we're here, to be experience experiencing itself. And although there's only one of us here, if in fact every other person, place, and thing is God showing up in a different form, isn't that ultimately your true longing? To connect with that God source energy in the most deep, intimate way. And how can you do that? It's by reaching out and being with people and meeting them and creating together and sharing. And that goes beyond the social media and the internet. Uh, I think that's a step in the right direction. I think that those tools are most supportive and have brought people together in ways that it could not have happened before. But I think 
it can also have its flip side in keeping us separate and isolated and not going past a certain point. So I invite you now to go beyond yourself, to go beyond your screens, your phones, to actually reach out and connect skin to skin, heart to heart, soul to soul, embrace to embrace, eye to eye with another and let them know that you see the divine when you look at them. Let them know that you feel divine when you look at them. It's the greatest honor we can give to another. The divine in me, as me, honors, loves, cherishes, respects, and sees the divine in you, as you. I love you. Simran signing off until tomorrow. Bye.